Alrighty, here we go, another 1v1. Also, actually, before I get into this 1v1, there's something I actually want to mention as a fun fact. Fun fact, all these 1v1s that you're seeing are actually, like, either six days back or much longer. The main reason that is because I like to keep my uploads scheduled so that I don't have to think that, oh, because, like, I like to, I'm starting to get into this rhythm of, like, oh, or, or I'm getting back into the rhythm of, oh, the moment I make the video, I, like, edit it, like, hours later. I used to be in the rhythm of, I edit it at that moment, I done, I'm finished recording, but I'm getting to the rhythm of, like, um, after I'm done recording with that video, if I have anything going on, then, you know, I keep going on with that thing, but if I have nothing going on, I give it, like, an hour or so, and then I actually start working on it. Which is, what, but, like, the reason why, and, and this is gonna sound ridiculous and a little greedy, but just hear me out, alright? The real reason why I have them spaced out like this with the 1v1s is so that I don't feel like, as I don't make people think that I'm a little bit weird, like, co consistently uploading 1v1 videos so rapidly. Like, um, like, imagine it being like, um, like, you get a 1v1 video, right, from me, and then, like, um, what was I gonna- Oh, I had my ball to shoot! So, imagine this, you get 1v1- you get a 1v1 video from me, and then, like, not even a few hours later, you get another one from me, like, that's why I have it scheduled, so that it's not like, um, it makes it to where I'm uploading, like, almost every two hours or so. Because then essentially, not everyone's going to be able to, you know, actually watch them. So that's why I like to space them out a little bit. So that some people can actually have their time to watch the other one. Rather than just like, oh, I'm going to put this off for like maybe a few times. Maybe just a little bit. And then realize, oh, there's another 1v1 video. Now I have to watch this one. Oh, now I have to watch this one. So I'm thinking of being like, um... But apparently from what my friends have said, apparently this whole uploading 1v1s is getting a little bit repetitive. Which is why, um, my bro Hyperbro, in particular, hasn't really been watching a lot of it. Maybe, not just that he's not probably into the 1v1s, but it's, like he said, it's getting repetitive, so it's not becoming an interest to him. So I'm thinking maybe upload two of them a day, rather than one every day or so. Because that's what it was like, and even then, and maybe it might work, because, like I said... There are a lot of ones that were days before, like, um, the one with the, uh, what was I gonna say? You know the one with, uh, Master Ultra Instinct Spider? Yeah, that was, I think, a whole week back? Or a whole six days back? It was one of them. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it was a while back. Like, all of them get uploaded, like, six days later. That's usually what it's like. Or much, much, much while later. Like, that's what it's usually like. For my 1v1s. So, yeah. Anyways, uh. <gasps> wow! Okay. So, I won that by the insiest bit. Like, the insiest bit. Okay. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, here we go. The Rainmaker match. The Rainmaker match. So, let's just, uh, let's go. Wahoo! And uh, yeah. We're both using end zaps apparently, but I mean it kind of doesn't matter since it's Rainmaker. It mostly just depends on who's actually gonna get the Rainmaker first. So yeah, let's uh, let's just get moving. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna just throw this at you. I'm uh, I'm gonna get you. Ooh, okay. Oh, and it's on Sheldendorf Institute. Ooh, that's a big rip because. Tenor missiles are kind of useless here. Because when you launch those tenor missiles, chances of them actually hitting the person is incredibly low on the stage. You know why? Because there's this thing called the roof. Actually, do I want to end the game right there? No, I don't want to end the game right there. I want to get greedy. Yeah, there we go. Let me just, uh... There we go. <laughs> I actually like how I immediately just say, No, I want to get greedy. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I can't. I, I can't believe I just did that. But I mean, you know what? Does it matter? Maybe not. But well, I mean, who knows? And yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Splat Zones match. Picked the Explosure, the custom Explosure, again. Cause I, I like this weapon even though it received its hard nerfs. Admittedly. But you know what? I think it'd be fine. It's totally fine. Right? I don't know. And yeah, okay. I mean, technically using that weapon. So, it's gonna be hard for us to get each other. Unless you use that thing called Booyah Bomb. Then that might... Okay, this actually might be a struggle for me to get you. Rather than you get me. Because I don't even think you have to get me. I think it actually just depends on whether you can actually uh, captivate the zone. But I mean, hey. And then when I take it, then I take it. And then now you have to worry about me. And yeah. Let me just... uh. Oh, you think you're- oh, okay, you fell, apparently. Excuse me, why are you not dead? Okay, alright. Apparently you just didn't- apparently you didn't want to die early, so it's like... Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah! Yes, brah! I'm gonna bra- oh, shoot. Okay, what up? Dang it! Your darn armor, it saved you. Totally, it was totally your armor that saved you. Totally the armor. Was it the armor? I'm pretty sure it was the armor in a way. Oh. Oof. I guess I win that. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So I guess we'll just uh, let's just uh, let's just walk home away with that victory. Cause you know what? That was that was a wonderful like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm actually not for sure how this is going to work, mostly because um, I'm using the H3D, which is not bad, right? But, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, one problem is, is that, um... Uh, my Pro Controller is right now wired, and from what a lot of people have said, it just makes the input, um... more laggy, so it's like, um... So it's like if that happens, so that means aiming is going to be a little bit more harder than it usually is. Like maybe I could have aimed for her right there, but I didn't. I don't know, it could be it could be me. Oh, what whoa, she lived. Oh, hey, we got rival weapons. And well, I wouldn't say rival weapons. I would say weapons with the same We both have weapons that have the same kit, just different weapons. You have a weapon that does that has better mobility. Better turf coverage, better fire rate, but I have a weapon that's a midliner that can slay you to death. Ooh, okay, but you got those shots in. And yeah, so let's just uh, let's just keep going until something magical happens. It's more than likely. What did I? Where did I throw that? Did I just throw that? Be, did I just throw that over the wall? Or no, not over the wall. I, I, I meant to hit. The, uh, the giant block that's in the way right here. But I guess somehow it clips through the wall? Or did I... No, it must have. I think. Because, like, I was intending for it to hit the wall and then it hit in that corner over there. Which I don't think is meant to happen. But it happened. And that happened as well. I don't want to be too forgiving because, again, I have a wired pro controller and I have an H3D. So it's like, mm, aiming is going to be really, really, really tough for me, isn't it? Really, really tough. Okay, never mind. Just as I say that. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Mmm. Anyways, GG's wax. GG. Except we got one more mode to go. So, uh, yeah. Ha 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 ha. Okay, uh, let's uh, go. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, see what, uh, we can do in Clam Blitz. I really was so confused about what I wanted to do in Clam Blitz, so I just picked this. So I was just like, you know what, why not? I got nothing better to do other than to pick a weapon that I feel like, uh, can do something. Even though this weapon, admittedly, to a lot of people, isn't really as great as the Foil Flingza. Or, not the Foil Flingza, the Foil Squeezer. 
But the reason why I like this better is because the, uh, the squeezer, to me, is just one of those weird weapons that it's really hard to get used to. Like, you have one of those weapons, right, where, um, you can fire by just holding the button. You have the squeezer, on the other hand, which requires you to just tap the button rapidly. And to I don't know why, but to me, I just don't like that at all by the slightest. So because of that, it, um, it's just really awkward to me to use that weapon. So, say what you guys want about the foil squeezer versus the Kensa roller. I like the Kensa roller better, just because it's easier to use it. And it doesn't feel like I have to actually, like, put an extreme amount of, Like, I feel like, in some level, the squeezer, for me, at least, isn't really that fun. Mostly because it's a semi-automatic. Semi-automatics, to me, unless it's an H3D, semi-automatics are not really that fun. Which is why I don't often play with an L3D, or an L3, uh, um, a, uh, the, the squeezers. Because they're semi-automatics, and it's, for me, it's not really fun to play with a semi-automatic. It's not really fun to play with a weapon that could probably function amazingly as a shooter, but instead, you have to rapidly tap a button just for it to function like a shooter. So yeah, that's just my opinion. Maybe you guys like semi-automatics. Maybe for some reason you like uh, semi-automatics. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say at this point. I'm trying to give my argument on why I like this better than a foil uh, squeezer. Foil flings the foil squeezer, they're kind of flings a roller or the flings a flings a roller, flings a squeezer. My goodness, I don't know why they have to sound so similar to each other. I mean, admittedly, they are both foil, so maybe there's maybe they have something in common with them. Right, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump her. There we go. There we go. I had to jump at her. I mean, I know there's not really that many people that like when uh, players roller camp these days. Or you just jump. Jump camp? It's like, um... It's like when you play with a roller and then you just, like, wait until someone approaches to just jump at them. Not really that many people like it, but I mean, hey. It's not matter- it doesn't matter whether people like it or not. It matters whether it works. And if it works, then I'm gonna do it. There we go, okay. That was uh, kind of awkward. I don't know why it had to be like that, but it had to be like that. The only thing I can think of why this is going to be so difficult is because of coverage. Rollers are not meant to turf coverage, in this game at least. I think maybe they were in the first game, I'm not for sure. I think they might have been like, they did better in painting it in general. But like in this game, no. That, it's not something you should do. So yeah, I got nothing to say at this point. I'm like trying my hardest to like make it easier for my editing self by saying as many things as possible, but I don't really have that many things to say other than uh, mm, uh, I got an idea. How, how was your guys' day so far? Was it good? Was it great? What time are you seeing this by the way? Because I can probably imagine you guys are seeing this like maybe a whole week after I uh, edit this and stuff. That's my assumption. Maybe it could be not too long. I'm not for sure. But yeah. Also, how are you doing, Wax? How are you doing, Wax? How have you been? Are you having a fun time? Even though. Oh, wait. How many times are you. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, flash nuggets. Uh oh, spaghettios. But I mean, hey, is it really that bad? All I have to do is just kill you, and then I win the game. Like, literally, just, just kill you. There. Now I win the game. Because I have, first of all, the amount of seconds we have on the clock. Second off, uh, I have way more points. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to figure out what do I want to say. But now I'm, I don't really know what do I want to say. Carry me. Ooh. Oh, wow. I was inches from dunking it in, and then the game was just like, no, we can't see it. It's too violent. 
that's probably what the game was like. But it, it got it, it, it got scared. It got scared. It got scared. You little scaredy cat game. You didn't want to see me dunk it in. Fine then. <laughs>